Hello YouTube. So I'm currently rushing around like a headless chicken because I have a hospital appointment. I have two hospital appointments today. Um, I have one with my consultant and um, <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, I have one with my consultant and then I have, um, I'm going to go see my stoma nurse because Basically, on prep, sorry, I'm like making food as I go. Basically, when I was on prep, when I got really, really lean, like I felt this little lump in my belly button, um, and I wasn't, I'm not too sure what it is. Um, I don't think it's a hernia, but I'm gonna go get it checked out anyway, because if it's a hernia, then that sucks. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do today. So, currently about to make a chicken wrap, um, rather than chicken and rice, because I haven't got the time to kind of, sit there and eat, I just need to literally grab it, eat and drive. <laughs> um, same macros as what I was going to have, so just a quicker option. Um, so yeah, I will update you guys after my hospital appointment and let you know how it goes. Okay, normally my consultant's running like three hours late and I was actually in and out um, and I also went to see my stoma nurses as well about that little tiny little lump that I found in my belly button. Something to worry about is nothing even really there, it's like a little bit of, they think it's a little bit of scar tissue maybe, um, but if it was a honey it would be a lot more harder, squishy and I always squeak, I always squish it. <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. I had a really good appointment. Both appointments have been, I've just come out feeling really, really happy. That kind of dragging, kind of gut ache feeling you get before you go and see your consultant or your nurses. I had that this morning. I don't know why. I think it's just from, you know, when you, you, you have bad news after bad news from, well, suffering from a chronic illness for so long, um, you just almost, expect it but it all went fine the consultant's really really happy with me he's really happy with like how i'm doing and we discussed obviously i've been having some issues with um, the last part left um, my rectum stump um we've obviously been kind of toing and froing whether i should be getting that removed or not after speaking with him today he thinks i could probably go six to seven years maybe before even needing um scopes to check if it's all okay in there so it doesn't you know this means i don't have to make any sort of rash decisions so i'm gonna put my window down because i'm hat i mean this time last year i was having really really bad issues with my rectum stump i was in a lot of pain using medication to try and kind of kind of counteract it i was even on painkillers ashwood uh, everything's been fine so far this year obviously i still have the odd little flare up now and again um, but that's gonna happen, that's gonna keep reoccurring as long as it's not too much to handle, then I don't need to get rid of it. So that means, yeah, it's just, it just feels so like, like, just a relief. It's just, I can't even describe to you how good it feels to be able to walk out of a hospital appointment and actually have good news. It feels so fucking amazing. <laughs> a lot of people have asked me about, you know, are you going to have a J pouch? Um, you know, what are your thoughts on a J pouch? I keep these sort of, um, I don't know, feelings and thoughts to myself about the J-Pouch because I'm still yet undecided of what I want to do. I just know that I have a long time until I need to decide to whether I need to keep this to me or not. Ever. I'm not going to say no to having a J-Pouch and I'm not going to say yeah. I just know that I'm happy where I am right now and I'm happy with my stoma. My stoma's given my life back. The thought of having any more surgery petrifies the hell out of me. You know, I'm not afraid to say that. I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling happy. I'm happy with my ostomy and I don't want to change that. It's something that so many people have different opinions about and 
I know that when I make the decision, I want it to be my choice and not uh, weighed by different people's opinions on the matter and whether it works for them or whether it works for um, them or not, because I know every, every individual is different when it comes to it. So that's why I don't really share like much on that subject because I know when the time comes when I either decide to have um, my stump removed or if I have the J pouch, I want it to be my decision, my choice. That's kind of where I am at right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go and finish my coffee off and have a good day with Connor. But um, that's a little update yeah, for you guys. See you soon.